Oh, Neil, man. <sighs> Flow, dude. Like, you can't beat it, man. You're in the green room. You know the green room? Not in the surf, but out in the woodlands. The feeling of just bombing down the trail, feeling super relaxed, <laughs> man. Yeah. I... And you don't... But the thing is, you can't actually measure flow, dude. Uh, funny you say that. You can. What? New Garmin's yeah. will give you a flow score. Well, that thing. Yeah. So it's time to see who's a flowiest <gasps> and if we can improve our flow. Okay. <laughs> That wasn't very flowy. <laughs> <laughs> so right, we did, that was our base run, just yeah. riding as we ride, to yeah. see what scores we get. Yeah. Close. 1.08 kilometres, so pretty short. Yeah. 2 minutes 16. 2 minutes 15. Oh. Ooh oh, I'm not happy about that. Faster than the dawn. Average speed 28k or 28.5. 28.4. Oh. Uh, right, 103 metres down, but, so yeah. on to the flow score. Yes. So the lower the score is, the yeah. more flowy you are. Yeah. So it's got accelerometers, GPS, of course. It measures all that stuff. Did yeah. you get a little beep when you hit that jump at the top? I did. It says great jump. Yeah, I didn't want to look down. I was anyway. looking. <laughs> <laughs> Flow, mine is 3.5. Oh, oh, so the lower the better. Lower the, oh, well, the lower the more flow. 5.2. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's because I skidded in some, and I skyrocketed this big jump. So I, I did jump high. Let's go back up and let's try and just do a run. Don't worry about times. Yeah. See if you can improve that flow score. Okay. Like, I guess try and be smooth. Did you improve your flow? I did improve my flow. Last time what I was got 5.2. Two. Yeah. I got 4.5. So I better it. And I went a little bit slower. And you? Well, I didn't feel like I, I did a little bit. It was quite hard actually. I did a few little hops over sections. I went a second, Ooh. no, two seconds quicker. Um, I went slower. And I got my flow down to 2.9. 2.9? Improves it by a bit, not a huge amount, by <laughs> real length. But last time, right, it, I did 13 jumps and I thought yeah. maybe that's where my flow is going out because I'm jumping. Yeah. So I did a lot, I did half. So I did 13 then, now I've done six. I did nine this time. So I did hop a few little, like, well, it was a couple of big holes I tried yeah. to hop over. Yeah. Um, do you reckon the grit score as well? So the grit is 1.2 I've got. Uh, mine's 1.2, so that's accurate. That's that tells you sort of how difficult the trail is. So right. how like much you're starting stopping the gradients of things. Okay. Actually, funny enough, when I've started doing like rides, anything now over 100 on grit is sort of how I judge my rides. I used to do it on like how many meters I've climbed. Yeah. Now I try and make a ride at least 100 on the grit. And I know I've had a decent on the grit. ride. So 1.2 is tiny, obviously it's a super short yeah. trail. So now, let's do one more run, and I reckon we do it our style. So I'm okay. going to try and go as fast as I can. Right, I'm going to jump everything, and manual. And see what happens. Yeah. I want to see what my time does, but also what happens to my flow score. Right, oh. Do you know what? I was way more flowier. Even though I was hopping and pouncing around, manualing, yeah. I felt better. What, you got a better score? I got a 3.8. Oh, 3.8. That's good, eh? 
I realised how unfit I am. Two minutes and it almost killed me. So I, I'm not 10 seconds off the first run. Oh my gosh, you're way quicker. You did it in two minutes. Went pretty hard. Two minutes, so 206. Yeah. Um, my flow score dropped, so 3.4, which is oh. my very first run was 3.5, but yeah. 2.9 was my best. Yeah. So that makes sense. I'm yeah. trying very hard. Being I think a bit if you, rough. Yeah, try hard, you get worse results. Yeah. If you just do normal riding. It's interesting, isn't it? Do you think this is sort of usable? I can see it maybe. I can see it. If you're riding like a technical track all yeah. the time, you could use like the lap function to just record the flow and the stats for that piece of track. Yeah. And you can then try and improve your flow on that trail. Or exactly. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I, can, oh, I love it. I, and I was slower and my speed was slower, but yeah. That's just the way you ride. And I did 13 jumps. Nice. I want to see how many jumps I can do <laughs> on that trail now. Does that officially make me the fastest and the flowiest rider? Though? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, you're a racer, Neil. There's a right? score. Now I've got a number. I'm happy. Yeah, well, I'm a free rider by heart. You can't get out of me. Yeah, true. Oh, I like in the air. It's cool, isn't it? I yeah, actually I really enjoy it. doing that, and I think it's a good thing to practice on. I think uh, I want to see if, if I can get more flowy than you. Well, Blake, we've done a video. Me and you did it. We did. In Santa Cruz, how to improve your flow. So click over there for that one. Don't forget to hit the globe to subscribe because you're missing out on some cool stuff. Thumbs up if you want to be flowier. Yeah, me. Or the flowiest, like or me. Or free rider. <laughs> See ya.